Hello, Jeff Jarrington here, Senior Technical Marketing Manager here at Greylog. In this feature video, I'm going to go over a quick tutorial on how to log USB sticks or USB type storage devices when plugged into Windows 10 workstations. Every security analyst knows some of the largest threats to security are when unauthorized USB devices, specifically USB storage devices, are being plugged into your corporate computers. They can be used to propagate malware, viruses, and every flavor of the month for compromise into your networks. For those that block USB devices entirely in your network, this may not be as much of a concern. However, watching for it is very important. Many organizations still utilize these devices and it's good to keep an eye on what's going on with them. I'll show you for compliance reasons as well as IT security reasons, how to log these little nasty creatures. Just some things to note. I'm using WinLogBeat on a Windows workstation that's already set up and in logging events into Greylog. I'm also setting it up through Sidecar, and Greylog is managing the central YAML config file. So first, let's have a quick look at what we need to do in Greylog. So one of the most important things you need to do is when you've got the collector configured, you need to add a configuration line. So let's look at that really briefly. In Sidecar, I have a profile for WinLogBeat called Windows Workstation. In this configuration file, when you scroll to the bottom, you're going to see a feature at the bottom called Microsoft Windows Driver Frameworks User Mode Operational. The Windows Driver Frameworks User Mode is the log types that are needed to capture USB devices that are being plugged into the network. It's used for a multitude of other things as well, but for this instance, we want to configure this to allow these logs to come in. I've highlighted a log here for 96 hours, so I'm not dumping everything from this workstation in. But this will highlight the configuration you need in Greylog. So now that it's been updated and in the configuration, now we're going to look at Windows Event Viewer. So in Windows Event Viewer, it's required to set this up. It's not enabled by default. You need to go into Applications and Service Logs, go to Microsoft, and then go to Windows. And if you scroll down towards near the bottom, there's a feature called Driver Frameworks User Mode. This is not enabled by default. So if you click Properties on this, you'll see the logging is not enabled. So you'll need to enable this log. Now, this feature can be managed through your normal processes like group policy or login scripts or anything else that you've got in your environment. But for this purpose of the demo, I just wanted to highlight where this is and what needs to be enabled. So once that's been enabled, we're now gonna go into the instance of Greylog and I've created a search. It's important to know that this search, I have highlighted two event codes for Windows, the Windows event codes. 2003 is the event code for when a USDB device is plugged in. 2102 is when the device has been unmounted. So as we can see here, I have my USB stick. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it in to my Windows workstation. And I'm logging the WinLog beat opcode for source for the opcode and you'll see a start message in this field and the source of the PC that it was plugged in. If you scroll down here to the bottom, this is the initial message that comes in when you've mounted a USB stick. In this case, if you go to the wrong message, you're going to see where the USB store disk device was a verbatim product, a store and a store and go product. So you do get the actual name of the product and you get the serial number information of the product. So scrolling up here to the top, you're going to see when I unmount it, and I'm going to do this right now. I'm just going to unmount the actual USB stick. And I have ejected it. You're going to see a stop message come up for this here and update it in real time. Now you'll see a stop message. And there are three messages that get generated when you disconnect. So you'll see that there's a plug and play power operation change. And you're going to see these three messages with, again, the actual device that's been disconnected and it's PID. And you're also going to see the actual message for the device and the disk and the model. And me finally unmounting and disconnecting the device. So hopefully this gives you a really good example as to when you want to monitor USB sticks in your network. It's a good idea to know when people are using these devices if you're able to still use them. That's all we have for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. 
And as always, happy logging with Greylog and have a great day.